Hey, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another Linux app. Today we're going to talk about and learn about this KDE Partition Manager. So I have this two disks right now, the SSD and the NVMe. This NVMe is supposed to be, it is in my Lenovo IdeaPad 3 Slim. And the SSD, that's supposed to be on my HP 15 2010. So I'm going to change my OS and try to copy and paste. Of course, I want to preserve my files and my OS in this particular drive, which is in my Lenovo Ideal Pad 3, and put it on my HP 15 2010. So the 2010 HP 15 that I have is using the SSD or the solid state drive and the other one is using the NVMe. So I have to use a tool which is a partition manager in Linux and the best things in Linux is nothing to pay. It's absolutely for free because that is your computer and we just give some donation to the community so let's try to open my kde partition manager actually we will just focus with the kde partition manager compared to the gparted partition manager we have to enter our super secret password before we proceed to this kde partition manager as you can see this is my nvme with my acer aspire 7 right now which is i'm using now and we have the a pacer which is i already deleted everything put to shreds and back to its original roots and this one is my nvme for my lenovo ideal pad 3 slim so I have to move this one, this one, this small part. This is my Linux Mint. It's a little bit like uh, occupying right now using 30 gigabytes of space. So I have this as my primary. Let's try to demonstrate this one, like copy and paste moving the partition from one disk to another because in Windows you have to like having this uh, partition manager but I think it is just only for trial correct me if I'm wrong okay but here in Linux we're just completely free nothing to pay before anything else we need to partition this this space or this storage so we'll try to click new by right clicking the mouse or click right here so it is asking for us we'll try to partition this format file for the system to be FAT32 which I'll reserve this for the UEFI or the EFI okay let's try to click this one and then click let's move this one first because I didn't notice so we will try to make it as small as possible like 700 MB all right there you have it we have our partition for our UEFI so this is our bootable partition so this one the remaining 118 gigabytes we're gonna partition this as the root or the operating system so we need to click this one highlight this one and then click new and then it is asking for us to format this one as our file system so we have to put it at extent 4 for Linux if you're using Windows you have to put it as X fat okay so we will try to click this one x4 okay 
and then we will label this one as Linux Mint and then click this one click OK all right we have now our partition so we need to click apply first for our disk to be able to copy and paste so everything will be wiped out permanently so we need to click apply pending operation so that we could like convert this EFI for the FAT32 partition while the other partition will be our root extent 4 for Linux if you're using Windows you have to put the file system as XFAT okay Okay, let's try to apply. It will take us uh, several seconds, several minutes, depends on your system. So right now we already finish total of four minutes. Of course, it depends on your system. It will take time, especially if you're using some external connection to transfer from one disk to another to another storage. So as you can see, I have all my devices right here. This is the new device that we just partitioned. The 118 gigabytes of X4. And of course, our 700 will be our FAT32 for our bootable EFI. And of course, I have my Windows, I have my Linux Mint, KDE Neon 5 and KDE Neon 6 as to transfer some file, especially this one. I have to transfer this one into this. Okay, so let's try to click this one, click OK. This tool is very popular and useful for the IT and of course the software engineers that is using computer software to work on to their jobs. That's why if you want to be a successful in the field of computers, you need to learn about Linux because every tool right here in Linux is absolutely for free, nothing to pay. While in windows you have constantly like paying some tools just to get things done but if you are using linux everything is for free and you just donate some of the developers so that you will have all this soft and of course you have to fully support them because you are really helping them the NVMe that is connected to my Acer Aspire 7 is linked to the file name as dev slash NVMe on one, which means on one partition. The Apacer is actually on our SDC. I don't know when I refresh, it just said that this is SDC so I really don't have an idea even though I just gonna refresh it it will go back to its original form but sometimes it will be saying that this is SDA I don't know let me see how about this one this is SDD okay so we are missing two SDA and SDB. So let's try to copy this one. Let's go to our SDD that is supposed to be in my Lenovo. I have to copy this one. This is the Linux Mint including the EFI. So I have to copy this too. So we have to copy this one. Uh, okay so I just realized that the size is a little bit bigger let's make it as 1.20 gigabytes for the a pacer we have to move this one moved make it like 50 500 
All right. And this one. Now we have to move this one, allocate this one. Okay, so we have 120 already. Okay. And then let's copy again the EFI, this one, copy. And then go to AP, sir. And then paste. Overwrite. All right, very good. And how about our Linux Mint? You just copy and then paste it right here. It depends on the space, but we're just gonna copy that one and paste it. And then there you have it. It doesn't need to be like Pacific, right? So that is the power of Linux compared to Windows that you need to move something and then try to create something in here in Linux is just absolutely easy so let's apply so it will take a while so it will inform us that this pending operation will be wiping out completely permanently on your disk so will you accept it and apply so if you want you have to apply as you can see the notification right here on the notification area it is telling us there are new partition currently available and we are now reaching like 49 percent right now so we'll just wait until this partition is completed so we are now for our partition for the root it is saying that zero percent but in total we have 16 percent total so we have to wait after 31 minutes and 43 seconds we are now finished with our partition and of course as you can see it has two partition which is this one copied and to this so while the EFI right here is also copied all right so we just gonna click OK so there you have it we have to refresh everything yes everything is okay so let me see so this one it's around use of 30 so let's see yes also 30 so successful cool right so let me close everything so that's how you use the KDE partition manager it's absolutely for free from the KDE gave you the plasma yes <laughs> you heard me right plasma if you're always like constantly hearing word like plasma it is a brand from the KDE or the K desktop environment so that's about it for our KDE partition manager right here in Linux app it is not yet available in Windows and Mac for now it is only available in Linux operating system so if you have some question, feel free to ask me. Write it in the comments down below. This is your science teacher, Teacher Blair, for Linux App KDE Partition Manager. Bye for now and see you in the next episode. And remember that science means knowing. That is why science is cool. Ciao.